Aloha and thank you for joining us for This Is Now. First at noon, officials say the last 12 months have been the deadliest for domestic violence in Hawaii in many, many years. And happening now, hundreds are preparing to march in Honolulu to raise awareness. We want to go live to Dylan Anchetta at Iolani Palace with a look. Hi, Dylan. Hello, Ashley. Thank you so much. As you can hear behind me, this You're not is alone. just about to get you know, there's a, there's a lot. We have a nice crowd, a great sized crowd of so many community members. I'm going to step out of the way and give you a look. Uh, this is the 30th annual Men's March Against Violence. It is put on by DVAC, the Domestic Violence Action Center, and they're expecting upwards of a thousand people total uh, coming out for this event. And just now they are starting their opening speeches, but shortly after this, they will be marching through downtown. Honolulu and going through the streets all to raise awareness for uh, action against domestic violence. As mentioned, there have been a number of incidents in the last year that have really caused concern among the community. And I spoke with one of the board members for DVAC and the founder of the KU Foundation, and he had a special message to victims who may be uh, afraid to seek help, but it is so important. Here's some of what he said. You're not alone. You know, there's a, there's a lot of resources for you. There's a lot of people who want to make sure that you are safe. So DVAC is a, the organization that has been supporting the community in Hawaii for many, many years. Uh, this is the 30th annual uh, Men's March. And so we are hoping that things like this and bringing more awareness to domestic violence gives them the strength and support to be like, speak up because it's, it's sometimes often unseen. You know, so we can only get the message out, get, bring up, build up their awareness and um, give them strength to get support. And right now they're actually about to go into their pule, so my voice will be a little bit hushed as we want to respect the space. But uh, as mentioned, after they go through the opening speeches, they will start the march. They're going to go through the streets of downtown, walk all the way up to King Street and wrap around the capital, and they're going to end back here at Iolani Palace. And we'll be sure to bring you more on this event in later editions of Hawaii News Now. At Iolani Palace, I'm Dylan Nchetta. We'll send things back to you. Thank you so much, Dylan.